literally stopped first place I thought and it's miles away. In this series of vlogs, we take you with us on our van adventures around Europe with some of our friends. Four vans set off and only three returned. We fixed vans at the side of the road and find some of the most beautiful lakes. So sit back, hit subscribe and enjoy. Yeah, boy! Morning, morning. Following on for last night's disaster, having to get told by the campsite to move pictures at midnight because of severe rain warnings. Yeah, we did have a lot of rain last night, as you can see. It's filled our... Well, I'll show you that in a minute. Lean to, that's our lean to awning. <laughs> Wind out awning. Oops. But, looking down the field, that's where we was down there last night. It, it's fine. It's completely fine. To be fair, I had a look last night and there's a big drain off ditch there and there's a big wet storm drain that goes out to a brook the other side and we would have needed a lot of, a lot of rain last night to flood this field. But going on, if the locals obviously are telling you it does flood, then you've got to listen to them, aren't you? So we ended up moving. I wish we would have just stayed there now, but it's all right in hindsight. If we'd have stayed there and been flooded out, it would have been in a mess. So we ended up moving. It was a faff, but we did it. Well, I better get up and sort this canopy out. Uh oh. Oh god, that's a lot of water in there. We've got pond youth. <laughs> so I think best thing, release that water, push that up, get the weight off it, and then we'll put it back. Right, see you in the mail. There's a guy that thought no was all we were gonna come yesterday. Sweep him away. <laughs> see what to our van? Did you see it? Or what? Like that? <laughs> hey look. He mm. looks yeah. gone. He was called Captain Sensible, but now we call him Noah. <laughs> it's completely ignoring me, but there we go. Do that. I can't. You need to make it all. It's been overflow. You said it wasn't. I didn't say scoop it out, I meant flatten it in. Oh, what are you doing, woman? Just you do it. Just put them on. Whoa, like that, It's not even going to overflow though, Jane. It is. Jane, it's not. <laughs> Brent said it's not. I'll do, Donkey. That'll do. That's it. You'd put another one on for me later. Another egg? Yes. Oh, come here, the flan. Not Jane. The concentration in my face. So if we open these up, these will sink down. Uh, the ones put all the cheese in one bloody spot. There's more cheese. Not big bloody. Bloody bloody. Oh. I thought you said it wasn't gonna overflow. I know I'll push him up. <laughs> we were, we was going to split it over two pans, but I was like, no, we'll get it all in one, it'll be adjustable, we'll do it. Maybe we should have done. It's a bit more like 100 way splash dash cooking, but we're getting there. I'm not going to get a lid on though. 
<laughs> this was Captain Sensible. What happened? <laughs> he got a new nickname last night. You've been rebranded as Noah. Noah. <laughs> Floods are coming. Build an ark. Let's go. <laughs> That's what they were saying it like. I thought you were going to start chopping trees down and everything oh, like, let's make a big boat, let's get, <laughs> get them on two by two, click the squirrels. I would have done, <laughs> to save everybody's holiday. Even in that. You don't want to... Two to come. Did you get three? Three? Three, please. Uh, three. Thank you. Thank you. We've just got the bus from the campsite in Cannes. It took about 20 minutes, but it was a nice, really clean bus. I don't know how much it was, I just blipped the uh, card. So I'll have to let you know later when uh, I check the bank in. Um, the weather's not that great, but it's warm. We're not cold, we've had the umbrella and we've got raincoats on and off, but it's dry for now. Uh, it's supposed to brighten up later and then that's it really. It should be nice weather back to uh, lovely weather again. So we're just having a wander around the streets, gotta get a drink and a nibble. We're booked into the campsite restaurant tonight, eight o'clock. I look at the menu, like pizza's like 11 euro, uh, wine, two euro, two euro for a glass of wine, three euro for a beer, so we can't go wrong there. We saw people eating last night and the food looked really, really nice. Um, Tommy and Tilly have stayed on camp because um, they're just tired and want to chill and we all need a chill day, so just the rest of the gang coming to um, camp, so we're going to have a look around. It's looking so pretty so far. That was an amazing breakfast. We've got the bus from the campsite down into Cannes. We're on Cannes Arbor. Check the boats out again. Woohoo! Boat Envy. Unfortunately, the weather has took a turn for the little bit of the worst. It started raining. You can all tell Brent, I've already told you this. Have you? Yes. I didn't see you do that little intro bit. <laughs> oh, the lads had camera. I weren't with her when she was doing it. I'm just chatting away. And... Oh, that's it then. So, where did you get to then? <laughs> all of it. All, all of it. <laughs> said about the bus in the harbour. Did you? Yeah. What, oh, and us getting rained on? Yeah, all I think, of it. I think we need to find somewhere for a slurp. <laughs> I told them all this already. We could have a good slurp, because <laughs> we've got the bus. There we go. Staff. Look at that, staff. <laughs> when you brolly, man, brings you brolly. <laughs> Cheers, brah. Yeah, we want to share it, though. Come on, Yeah, it's a shame. It's still really, really warm, though. Um, Probably about 25, something like that. 24, 25, yeah. nice. So we're just gonna have a mosey on. I think we're gonna find a bar, a restaurant, until this rain stops, and then we're gonna have a look at these boats. And enjoy a bit of can. Memory Cans, cards. can. Oh yeah, I need some memory cards, so I need to find a shop. Hey, a I'm filling up memory cards, because this is an epic trip. Two weeks just, and it's just, I wanna film everything. So I need more memory cards. Memory cards, memory cards. Let's go. <laughs> Skyline. Woo. Badass. I thought there was some money in Monaco. Some money in Cannes as well. Jeez. There's some coin. The weather has turned even worse. So we're just walking around Cannes, admiring all the nice shops, so they're very expensive shops, may I add. all the nice fancy cars driving through. It is such a nice place. Gutting, they have finally got down to Cannes and Sorry, paintings behind my GoPro probably faces at me trying to make me laugh while I'm vlogging and it, it worked. I was trying my hardest to concentrate. <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit annoying. I've really wanted to come to Cannes with Luan for a long time and the weather is just terrible. So we've come and found a nice Irish bar. You know, I like my Irish. And we're gonna have a few pints of Guinness and some food in here before we have another walk around. Hopefully the weather changes. It's meant to be nice from four o'clock, so it's about an hour or so from here. So then we'll have a finished walk around and then it's meant to be warm and nice and sunny. So then we'll get the bus or taxi back and check out the pool and flumes at the campsite. So, epic. 
and then we're booked in in the little restaurant on the campsite for about eight o'clock and we're gonna have some pizzas and other bits and bobs or pasta they're doing on site and the wine is really nice and cheap wasn't it in the wine? the wine was cheap and really nice wasn't it so they'll be having a lot of slips uh, Brent's just uh, took us to an Irish bar and all I wanted was a glass of wine and some olives and he's got himself two pints of Guinness and a burger. How's that work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Treat yourself, Brent. Uh, we're just queuing up to have a look at the um, red carpet or red steps to the Cannes Film Festival. It looks so glamorous on telly in this queue in the rain. It really isn't that glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a wave. <laughs> yes, girls. Give me five. They would never let us on any red carpet, would they, Jane? <laughs> <laughs> so the girls have just walked the red carpet. This is where they have the uh, film festival in Cannes where all the stars come to do the movie premieres and the amazing film festival that happens here once a year. Badass, wish my channel was big enough to get an invite to that and sit next to all the other top YouTubers like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon. Oh, how cool would that be? <laughs> Epic. Oh, on the sea front. What do you fancy doing, Luli? It's shops and bars, babe. Shots and bars, babe? No, but you don't like shops. Yep. Do you like bars? Well, we like bars. I do like shopping. You don't. Uh, pff, you depends, don't. it depends. You like memory cards and drones. Tech stuff. You've not got cameras. one bit of patience. If I were handbag or something, you'd just die. You'd walk <laughs> off. Especially in these prices. Serious. Serious. So we are just making plans. I think we're going to have another walk around the arbor and then probably look at getting the train. Uh, train. We're going to have a walk around the arbor and then we'll probably look at getting the bus or taxi back to the campsite. Hopefully, the sun is going to come back out and we can go for a swim. And down the flumes. Peyton, where's Peyton? We're going down the flumes. Yeah. Yeah? I'm racing. <laughs> it's not cold though, is it? No. No, it's probably about 23 degrees. I'm not cold, but it's just, it's just They've had such a heat wave for a, a long time over here, it's bound to break up. We've had an awesome first week. It's just a shame it started getting a bit intermittent. But it's it's dull, but it's not raining now, so we just keep getting showers. We keep ducking into bars and other places Why it absolutely belts it down. So luckily, while we've been in the Irish bar, it's nice. We're going to cruise terminal here, guys. <laughs> We're just following his nose around there like we're going to go back to the uh, arbor. We're going down the cruise terminal. <coughs> so, yeah. Let's get moving. I love walking around with a big camera. Especially when I can. Because they don't know who I am. You can't could be some massive YouTuber. So everybody's like, oh, he's got a big camera. Posh gimbal on. <laughs> Yeah, boy! You gotta find it! That goes for anybody else who comes to Cannes, either on a camper van trip or on holiday, who well likes the channel. See if you can get on there, find it, take a photo, selfie, yeah. Tag us in on our Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, boy! guys so when we was in the Irish bar and had a couple of slips some of us had food Jane and Luan did not have food they wanted I'm not, I'm not I'm not just having normal food in an Irish bar they wanted 
a nice glass of wine and some olives and be all sophisticated while they're in Cannes. So we all sat in this awesome restaurant on the front. The Arbor is just behind us, just over there. So we're having a glass of wine and some olives. Sylvester Stallone. You've got proper sausage fingers, pal. Look at the size of them. Well, I've got little skinny pinkies. Look at that. <laughs> Me and the man have found an awesome little bar right opposite the marina in Cannes and it's got happy hour on. <laughs> so Luan was having a porn star martini which is her favourite cocktail and me and the boys are having a couple of beers because the beers in here are only five euro right on the arbor in Cannes. Can't go wrong with that can you? Now my friend Piers who you've seen on many on the vlog has been wearing this red Bull baseball cap all of our Europe trip back to front and it's the one size fits all and he's also growing a beard and he's starting to grow a bit grey which he looks cool as, I'm not taking a bit because he looks dapper and I mean dapper but just have a look, are we saying Fred Durst or Chad Smith? Which one? I think he looks a bit like both Why? Fred Durst and Chad Smith, let me know in the comments below Yeah boy! Many hours later <laughs> This bar's kept the, this is the longest happy hour I've ever known in my life. We're staying in here for a, a well, we've been in here probably two hours, two, two and a quarter hours, Danny. It's been a few hours, hasn't it? A good few hours. It's keeping the prices low for us. A Guinness, right on the Arbor front in Cannes, in this bar is six euros, which I don't think is bad at all compared to where we've just been, up, up, just up the road. So. We're staying here, it's got a good atmosphere, the nightlife is starting to emerge, people are all, I was going to say people all dressed up, people all dressed up anyway in camp, like, like really dressed up, just walking around, so, this is really nice. Enjoy the line? Yeah. Yes you are. Here's some more drinks. The best waiter in camp. No pressure. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Lule. Nice. Got sweet fruit. Mojito. That is good. That is good mojito, isn't it? Pierce is on rum and coke. Or is it Chad Smith or Fred Durst? I'm rum and coke. I'm on my Irish favourite, the Guinness. Hi girls. You love it, John. <laughs> oh my god, what was that face? <laughs> Painted, what was that face? <laughs> she loves it when I catch her like. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy these, then get an Uber. Eventually. Get back to our campsite. We were booked a table for about 20 minutes time for pizza and stuff. See you in a mo. Hi hey guys, I'm Bella. Hey! <laughs> umbrella! <laughs> no, it's umbrella. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank Cheers. you so much. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. What's your flavour? Yeah, Liam only had one job. <laughs> one job, Liam. <laughs> one job, Liam, was to look after the umbrella. It's coming. So he's left the umbrella in the bar and the barman who we've been talking to for the past two hours has come running across the street in can like wait wait <laughs> i got your umbrella <laughs> one job liam yeah. that's the bar just there we've spent a good couple of hours in on the happy hour the arbor is just there can nightlife is starting to kick off it's starting to get in the hustle and bustle everybody's coming out in the bars such a great atmosphere, really enjoyed Cannes. Unfortunately the weather's not been great but it's a lot better than it was. We've got a bit of blue sky, looks like we're going to have a nice evening. We're going to grab an Uber, get back to the uh, campsite, grab a pizza and other bits and bobs and just chill and max and relax around the van. So we'll see you guys when we're back 
And it comes on. Yeah, boy. It's Tuesday morning, we're just getting tidied up. We're going to um, head off to the lakes again and hopefully do some paddle boarding. We had a lovely meal at this campsite last night. I had lasagna and we all had like pizzas. It was really, really nice and really reasonable. About 11 euro for lasagna. Came with salad, so it was good. We're just on the um, tidy up again. I think our next campsite we're gonna have about three days, so that'll be good. And then we'll be heading the long slog home and back to work. Ooh. I was just gonna show you and go and film and show you guys the uh, swimming pool in this really nice campsite in Cannes um, but just gone round there's, there's loads of families and kids in there I'm not filming that so it's a bit weird isn't it just a dude walking around talking to a camera filming yeah so scrap that I'll uh, try and get some pictures offline and I'll put these up for you now This campsite was really nice and it's massive. I'll just show you the map, just how big it is. Just look how many pictures there are. It's loads. And this is a pool here, so you've got slides, main pool and a kids pool here. It's really nice. Just outside, um, it's about 10 minute taxi from the arbor to this campsite and there's a bus. Uh, we caught the bus just down the road here into the arbor yesterday and we got a taxi back i think it was 10 euros back on an uber just grab an uber so if you've got the uber app just grab that bing it was here in a couple of minutes right on the arbor picks us up and drops us back off here so we're back on the road we're jumping in the van we just put the sat nav on we found an aldi just down the road so we're going to jump in there get some supplies few bits for tea tonight not sure what the girls have got in planned got in store for us I'm sure they'll uh, they'll have something for me to rustle up and cook up tonight so then yes we're on his way to Lake Anarchy Annecy Annecy Lake Annecy it's a good drive from here down in Cannes it's about five and a half hours Oosh! one of the biggest road days we have on this trip let's have it clocking the miles off back up to Lake Annecy and then because we're going to the latter end of his trip it's lake annecy is meant to be so nice and the weather's back the rain has gone this sun now is meant to be in for a while so we are planning molding me three nights three and three nights <laughs> at lake annecy totally relaxed going some paddle boarding have a good look round before we break the last two days up leg from lake annecy back to Dover, Calais, to Dover, yeah to Calais. So I think we're planning on breaking the trip up around Lac de Deux, Deux Deux, Lac de Deux? Lac de Deux, isn't it? Lac de Deux. Lac de Deux, which is like a national forest, halfway between Lake Annecy and Calais. It's about halfway, so it should break us up. Probably get a wild camp around that area. Right, stay tuned, let's get to Aldi's, let's get moving. Sunshine. Europe trip, day nine, I think. Is nine? Are we on day nine? Not a clue anymore. Peyton, are we on day nine? Hey, look, we're all getting his fingers out. We're getting his fingers out, guys. <laughs> I think it's day nine. On well, day 12. What? Scrap that, we're on day 12. Bro! Right, see you soon, bye. So we're in Aldi's, we're getting some supplies. And I'm just checking, Little, Little, sorry. I'm just checking that um, Little in France has a dad aisle, same as us. Snake <laughs> 
is. Have oh, we got dead oil? Got dead oil. Dead oil. We have got one. So we'll call it the dad aisle because all the dads look around in the junk for sale, the bits and bobs in the middle. <laughs> why, the, why the girls do the shopping? We're wandering around the dad aisles. Except for a seat. Oh yeah. Because Stan is seats in his van, we need a little seat for him. There's always one of us stood up. <laughs> the girls are getting some stuff for sandwiches making some nice baguettes up because like I was saying before we've got a long leg five and a half hours driving thereabouts probably a bit longer with wee stops and other bits and bobs so we're going to get through here get some supplies for food tonight and sandwiches on the way we'll get back on the road again